solving quadratic equations. And now we want to do it the most efficient way. Look at number one. Is it factorable? Okay, three and one, one and one. I can almost do that in my head now, right? There's no way I get five in the middle. Is A equal to one? No. Completing the square? Eh. Okay, I'm going after it. Quadratic formula it is. Glad you got that one. <laughs> equals negative 5, 6 plus or minus square root 37 divided by 6. Whoa, that's my axis of symmetry. And this is how far from the axis of symmetry to get to my x-intercepts or solutions. You might notice that I just chose to have it broken apart into two pieces. It doesn't matter if you do or not. We can always rewrite it together or separate it. Okay, so number two is all me then. You can't steal that one. X squared plus 8X minus 9. I have an A value of 1, and I bet you I can find factors of 9 that add to 8. Factoring. Sure, I get quadratic formula. X equals negative 9, and X equals 1. Whew, I'm mm -hmm. way faster than you. Depending on the method, next, oh look at this one, Miss Ryan, mm, an x squared term but no x term. Let's see who's fast now. x equals positive negative square root 2, solving by square roots. Okay, fine, you're pretty quick at that one. All right, this last one, all me. x squared plus 12x minus 20. Oh, I can't factor it. So I do have a one for oh, eight. Wait, what about two and 10? No, I want to add to a positive 12 and multiply to a negative, negative 20. 20. Oh, no, yeah, I can't that do work. it. Okay. So no factoring. I do have an A of one. It would be efficient here to complete the square. So I'm gonna complete the square. Okay, I didn't beat you on that one, but I did it in the most efficient way because I could have used quadratic formula and it probably would have taken me a little longer. And just for emphasis then, how many solutions do we have? Two. Two. Math, efficiently. efficiently.